Nababalaan. Lumo na kayo akong bago. May hapon kadadamdanan o sa mga walang kanihapon. So, my name is Angel Marie Madrigal. I'm all the way from the Tuna capital of the Philippines and the home of the champion, General Santa City. I am a social media influencer, a model, and a beauty queen by profession. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, uh, attorney number 15. And you're welcome to Bacala TV of Smile. It's actually my second time. So I'm so happy that I'm here again, facing all of you and all the beautiful Aki in Bacala. Okay, uh, if you give me the chance to choose the, low, the highest is 10 and then the lowest is 1, in terms of your preparation during this budget, what do you think the best number and why? Well, I believe in Feng Sui and the lucky number for me or the highest number is 10 because I come back for a victory. And I believe that my second comeback is much stronger than the first one because it's 100,000 pesos, so I have to prepare for the best. So to all the girls behind me, good luck and see you on the grand finals. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you know, I'm just making this room light because we're so boring. And there are a few people here, so any question? Um, if you win, what is the first change you would implement in our society? Oh my god, that's a very important question. Well, if I would win, that would be a perfect opportunity for me because I will bring home the 100,000 pesos and the first thing that I would like to do is to share my winnings to our stray dogs in the streets. Yes. Because I am a fur mom, I have 85 dogs at home. Oh, I forgot that my mom and dog is pregnant right now. So that makes them 101, not the mention and the dogs. So if I will win, that, that's the first thing that I will do. I would like to dedicate myself in feeding those stray dogs. Because seeing them without having food, it actually melted my heart. Because they're so close to my heart. It's like giving them food makes me happy. At least I was able to change their life for at least one day. That's why the universe did not allow those dogs to speak so that we will be able to realize that actions is much better than words. And those dogs, they are not our whole world, but they make our life whole. So that's what I would like to do. How about you? Would you like to... <laughs> Would you like to join in my crusade? Very good. Hi, Angel. Oh, hi, sir. It's nice to see you back. Same here. Okay. <laughs> you also joined last year. And what's the reason behind coming back in this year's masquerade? As I said earlier, the price is higher. So kudos to the government officials of the call, especially the mayor for increasing the price. That's the first thing. Of course, we have to be practical. Price is at stake. It's 100,000, so I have to consider myself. Maybe I will be lucky on that coronation night that I can bring home the 100,000 pesos. And second reason is I have a lot of friends in Bacolo and I have a lot of um, followers has been following my social media updates and lastly is the food. I love the inasal here in Bacolod, especially the Napoleones. Oh my god, it's really my favorite <laughs> delicacy actually. Any question? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And please accept my condolences. And of course, thank to you. the rest of the Derby family, thank you. You're welcome. You mentioned a while ago that you are a social media influencer. What is the best thing you've done? 
using your platform. I invoke my right to self-incrimination. <laughs> well, the best thing that I've done in my platform is to spread happiness and positivity. Because when we talk about social media, we actually see a lot of negativity spreading, like coming from our own community, the LGBT community, they keep on posting if um, their boyfriend has been taken by someone else or their friends and those and that, like people posting if their friends didn't pay their debt, whatever. So my platform is I just filled up with good vibes and positivity so that I can also put a smile to those people who are actually having a problem. Because I, you know, I believe that happiness is the most objective factor of one's life. If you provide happiness, maybe you will be able to change like your life if they're in doubt, you inspire them, you empower them, but they can also do the things that I am doing. So that's what I'm usually doing. It's actually, that's my content. Um, I believe you see that, or you saw that, most of the year. Hi, Andrew. You always made us laugh, even last year, during the 2023 masquerade. The question is, when was the last time you cried? When? <laughs> What's the reason behind it? Um, well, all of us, we have our own uh, perception in life. I myself, I even if I portray that I'm happy, I am always happy. Like, because every time I face problem, I just realize that it's just a challenge that God um, has given to me. And I know that I will be able to surpass the challenges because I am bigger than my problems and I am wiser than my challenges and even stronger than my trials. So the last time that I cried is um, when I watched this Maala Ala Mukhaya. <laughs> yes, I did not cry because I have a problem. I cried because it touches my heart seeing um, like an LGBT member or LGBT family being um, deprived of love by her own um, parents, so it actually it makes me it makes my heart um, broken because knowing the fact that your family is not accepting you totally, it is really painful because your family is your number one supporter. Even if, if, if your community is not accepting you for who you are, but if your family will accept you, that's actually it's like you win or you won a lottery by the support that you get from your parents. So that's the last time I cried. That was the last Saturday. Thank you, Ninja. You're welcome. How about you, sir? When was the last time you cried? <laughs> <laughs> Any question? You're good. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. And now, bye.